Welcome to Holiday Lighting Controller. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to set up your Sonoff Wi-Fi smart switch that's installed in your Holiday Lighting Controller. This will allow you to connect this device to your home network that you can control with your smartphone. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install an application on our smartphone. You're going to go to your app store, you're going to find an application called E-W-E-L-I-N-K, e -E Link. Once you have that application installed on your smartphone, it's that application right there, e -E Link. You can open that up, bring you up to your home page, and then you can add a device. But before we can add a device, we have to add power. So we're going to open our controller up. Here is the location of our smart switch. We'll plug into power. So once we plug into power, we're going to notice our smart switch is going to have a little flashing light. Right now it's blue and it's flashing three times. It's flashing two short flashes and then one long flash. So we have to get it into pairing mode. To do so, there's a little button on the switch itself. Just press and hold that button for about five seconds and you'll know it's in pairing mode when it starts continuously flashing. And it's continuously flashing now. There is no pause, there's no launch, it's flash, flash, flash. So now that we are in pairing mode, we can open up our app. We can hit the blue plus line at the bottom of the screen here. And then it's gonna bring up our add device page. In this page, you have a couple different options. Um, the main one here is quick pairing mode. I personally have not been successful with uh, quick pairing, so the common way that I'm adding all my devices is I go down to compatibility mode. I'm going to select compatibility mode, excuse me, compatibility mode. And once I'm in compatibility mode, it's got a lot of on-screen prompts for you. And the first thing it's going to say is check your device and make sure it's continuously blinking. Ours is, so then we can select the indicator is blinking correctly and we hit next. And now it's going to ask you for your router information for your home network. You just input that information in and hit next. So the next screen you're going to come up is going to it's going to prompt you to open your Wi-Fi device, your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and it's going to ask you to connect to this ITEAD. This device is putting out a signal for our phone, the ITEAD, and then it's got the XXXXX, uh, that's going to be specific to the device. So we're going to go to go to connect. It's going to ask you to open your Wi-Fi. Once you're in your Wi-Fi, there is that device, I-T-E-A-D. We're going to select that. We're going to join that network. Um, it's asking for a password, and for all of the Sonoff devices, the password is 12345678. Join. And that, once again, it's one through eight. Now we got the check mark, we're good. Go back into the settings. And now our device should connect, it should go to another screen. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, in the event that it doesn't, um, you can hit go to connect. And sometimes it just doesn't do anything at all. You hit go to connect, go to connect, and it's not doing anything. So what I found is you just hit the back arrow. It's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi credentials again. Um, and then you're just going to go back to your home network. So now my home network is installed. And then we just redo this whole process. Go to connect. You're going to get your Wi-Fi. You're going to see the I. TEAD device, it's automatically going to connect because you just connected to it. Go to your settings again, go to your application, and now it's forcing that other page, which is what we want. It's going to ask you to join the network. You join it, and it's going to do a couple things, and there we go. We're connected. So on this page here, it has the name, just the default name it comes up with. You can change that, and I will right now just change it to test. T -E -S -T. Return and done.
So now I've named that device test and it's on my home screen. You can see it right there. Uh, it's off right now. So we just select that little selector and now our device is on. The little light that was right here went from blue to red, which indicates power. So now I have power at my 12 volt power supply and my fan is on and my control board has got power as well. So once that's all working and it says on, we can collect, select the device, go into here and there's some settings we can go into and to make sure that we have the current version of the firmware, which is right here and it says latest version. All my devices I send out with these sawn off switches. I make sure that I upgrade all the firmware before shipment. So when you receive it, it should be the latest version. If not, you can check it here and then if it's if it's not the current version, you just select that. It takes a, about 30 seconds and it will upgrade to the latest firmware. Some other things you can do while you're in this device is you can set schedules, which is really, really helpful for automating your show. You going to add a schedule. You can scroll through the times that you want the device to come on and off. You, know, you can set a repeat you know, any day of the week you want, and then you save it. So that will allow you to fully automate this device without you having to come into your controller and turning it on and off. So I just selected the off button, the controller is off, and it's just that simple. Um, you know, on and off. And then again, for your schedules, you run your schedules. I run a schedule for all my devices when I'm running my holiday show and I've, I've had no issues with it. It's, it. They come on every time and they go off without me having to come in and physically turn them on and off, which is by far a, a great advantage for me running an automated show. Again, that is the Sonoff Wi-Fi Smart Switch. It comes installed inside of your holiday lighting controller. And if you have any questions, or you have any issues when you get it, please reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to walk you through any, any issues you might have. On my email address, chris.jewell, J-E-W-E-L-L, -E -L, at holidaylightingcontroller.com. And once again, I'll be more than happy to walk you through any problems you have with your device. This has been Holiday Lighting Controller. And we thank you for your time, and we hope this has been helpful. Have a great night. Are you okay?